Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. Alright guys, so this is going to be an update video. You guys know I'm bromating my snakes, getting them ready to breed in 2021. So I'm going to give you guys an update. And I got one more thing I got to share with you guys. Alright guys, so when I opened the wine cooler yesterday, I was checking. <laughs> so yesterday when I was opening up the wine cooler, checking out the snakes, I encountered a problem. I noticed a lot of water condensation building up inside of the bin. So I was thinking it might be an airflow problem. I was talking to some breeders. They gave me some pointers how to fix it. So I'm gonna show, I'm gonna share that with you guys. And this is gonna be more like an educational video. So I'm glad you're here. You can see that. So let's go check out the snakes and I'm gonna show you all the things I'm gonna do to fix that problem. So stay tuned. All right, before we get to the video, I gotta take one more hit of coffee. All right, now I'm ready. So when I'm not dealing with the snakes, I'm usually spending some time setting up my bioactive vivariums. Um, if you didn't know, this relaxes me. I like frogs as well, tree frogs, all different kinds of frogs. I don't breed them, but uh, I just love keeping the isopods with the frogs and seeing all the greenage. And to calm me down, I got a nice fish tank. I enjoy just sitting there watching it, but I uh, just felt like telling you guys that. And now let's get back to the snakes. So now we're gonna uncover the remation cooler, do it nice and slowly. We don't wanna startle the snakes. Open it up. And here they are, just relaxing. So everybody's hanging out. This is basically what they do most of the day in the in the wine cooler. They just stay balled up. But um, surprisingly, sometimes they actually move around a little bit. And sometimes I'll catch them in the water bowl. Now let me show you the issue that I encountered. So you see the water condensation. This is building up on the inside. And I was talking to some breeders and they're telling me the water won't harm the snake but if you leave it in there too long there's a possibility that mold could build up on the bedding so that's what the issue is and if you look over here where there's holes you could actually see the condensation going away a little bit but it's mainly up in the corners where there's no holes so i was talking to some of the breeders on the phone and through the Facebook chat. I know a lot of breeders on Facebook that we talk and a couple of people were giving mixed mixed uh, opinions. Some people said remove the water bowl and then just put it in every couple of nights because maybe that's evaporating inside of the bin. But the best solution that I, I, I actually think I'm gonna try, they said to drill more, more holes in the bin. So what we're gonna actually do since you see where the holes are, the condensation's going away. It's along the sides where there's no holes. So I'm gonna take a drill and go all around and we're gonna put more holes and I'm gonna put a couple of more holes throughout the bin. We're gonna do that on all of them. And I'm gonna keep you guys updated on how that turns out because I don't wanna remove the water ball. When you keep the snakes in brumation, I think it's important to keep them hydrated. So that is not a thing that I want to do right now. So we're going to drill holes right now. I'm going to show you how I do that. And then we're going to put the lids and the bins back into the cooler. So to drill the holes in the bins, I use the regular drill. And I used to use regular drill bits and they would sometimes crack the plastic with these titanium copper drill bits do, do the trick. I got these on Amazon for like $6. So this is what we're gonna use today. For tiny holes, I use this, medium and large. So I took this one outside and you can see the condensation. I have some pre-drilled holes here. I'm gonna actually make those holes a little bit bigger. Just put that, it's gonna be easy because it's already drilled. Now, the 
this is where the condensation is building up. So we're gonna drill a couple of holes along here. couple of um, sides. You see I just take that plastic off. Whatever's excess, it comes off pretty easy. And that's it. Oh, I forgot one more side. All right, so I drilled all the holes for this one right here. And this one is for paprika. You see all the nice holes. Some of them aren't too pretty. There's still a couple of the small holes, but this is much, much better. And you see all along the side where the condensation was building up, I got those nice holes. And this is definitely gonna increase the airflow. So when I touch the bedding, it's still dry. It's not moist, so that's a good thing. And now we're going to put the lid that I just drilled all those holes. Now compare that with all the holes to this one, which had a couple of small holes, no holes along the side. So that's a big improvement. And I'm going to let you guys know if it works. So once I finish this video, I'm gonna finish putting holes in the rest of these bins. I don't want this video to drag on too long. So um, that'll probably take me about another 10, 15 minutes. So pumpkin shed like about two weeks ago and she ate a couple of days ago. We're still feeding her and Kane, the two Amel Okatees. They're eating every Sunday, slightly smaller meals and they're not in the wine cooler. They're not going through full brumation. And you can see Kane just hanging out. And by taking them away from the heat, there's a slight temperature drop. So they're gonna notice the slight difference, but uh, nothing major. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave comments. I'll definitely respond to those as quickly as I can. And this is Sahara, my Tarahumara Mountain King Snake female. She is in brumation. I just took her out of the wine cooler just to show you what she's up to. You can tell she's kind of cold. She's just balled up, not really moving around much. So next I'm checking up on Hansel, my male palmetto. Het palmetto, I'm sorry. And checking out the Aspen. Aspen feels dry to touch, so at least the bedding is dry, even though there's a little condensation buildup on the actual bins. Riddler, my male Okati, and he's hanging out in the water ball. I, I found that strange because it's cold in the cooler, so you would think they wouldn't want to be in water because it's even colder, but I just picked him up making sure he's okay, and he seems to be all right. I guess he was just taking a cold bath. So I hope you guys had a good, healthy new year. Spent time with the family. I'm gonna wrap up the video here. We'll have a little music and snakes towards the ending. I'm gonna keep you guys posted to see if those holes I drilled actually help the condensation. So stay tuned. We got a lot of good videos coming up later in the week. I'll catch you guys in the next one. So my mom got me these for my birthday. She brought them over. Who doesn't like chocolates? These are just some of the finest chocolates you can buy. When I have them, I feel elegant. I love the white one. It's coconut on the outside with a special nougat inside. The one with the gold foil. Hazelnut with amazing chocolate filling. And then you got your dark chocolate. Highly recommended. These are amazing. You gotta try them. Mm, amazing.